Hi, I'm Eugene Edwards. Welcome to Fender Play Live. Uh, I'm a host, and today we're going to be talking about a simple way to add uh, to level up your chords, add some expression and a little little flavor to your playing. We're talking about minor seventh chords, and don't worry, they're much easier than they sound. In fact, we're going to start on the simple level and then build up as we go along, as we usually do. And helping us with today's topic is a trusted Fender Play instructor, Mr. Ozzy Carmona. Ozzy, hello. Say hello. Hey, how's it going? How's everybody doing it's out there? Wild. It's great to have you here. Uh, and also, we have uh, the doctor, Dylan Calajuri, for any of our medical questions. Yes, hello. Good. Yes. Very <laughs> you know, nice I, to be I here. I have been... Oh. Yeah, yeah musical medical gonna... questions. Oh, so, yeah, okay. if po- no, no, but if your posture, if you, you know... Uh, yeah, well, he, 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 he can solve everything, really, or at least... He told us he could. Um, For anybody who doesn't already know Ozzy, first of all, shame on you. He's a multi-instrumentalist. He's a musician. He's an educator. Very well known to the Fender Play community. Pretty much been here since the beginning. I I think of you as one of the founding fathers. A very valued member of the the team here at Fender. Let's talk about what you're playing today. Let's show off some gear, Ozzy. What do you have there? I got myself a little Mustang here, actually. It's a U.S. made. uh, Made in Corona, actually. So ah, do you know what wow. is it new is it old uh it's not too old i think it's when uh they switched up the performer series mm, and they started okay. yeah I, I think it was around that era so it was a few years ago so i ended up picking up this little bad boy here and it's been a workhorse ever since you so you, yeah can we hear can you demonstrate just show yeah, off sure, on it for sure. a while Sweet. By the way, producer Perry, we're going to go over time because Ozzy's going to have to go through all the instruments in the room there. Hope you oh, all of them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to go start with a kick drum. We'll just go through everything. <laughs> uh, that's and then Dylan, grinder. what do you have? What do you what do you, what are you using today? Oh yeah. So this is this is a uh, Fender Acoustasonic Stratocaster, and it's the three tone Sunburst. And uh, you notice me and Eugene both have uh, Acoustasonics today, so we're really going to be giving it like the the myriad of sounds that this guitar allows, <laughs> uh, it's almost overwhelming. It's, uh, I'll let Eugene do the playing, but I'm telling you, this guitar, No, it's, no, no, it's no, Dylan, plethora. how dare you? No, d- don't you get out of it, sir. Start. Okay, we here we go. need some Are gratuitous Dylan guitar playing. Mm-hmm. It makes me do funny things. I don't know what it is. It's a weird <laughs> feeling. <laughs> oh, is that the reason? <laughs> well, I'm proud of it. Yes, I also I have now. I have the Jazzmaster incarnation of the Acoustasonic oh. in uh, Ocean Turquoise is the name of the, or Turquoise wow. if uh, you're playing along at home. And uh, and I just got turquoise. this just showed up on my or Turquoise. It just showed up on my doorstep. <laughs> One of the Fender elves left it, and I'm a, I'm a proud owner of this sucker. Can't wait to play some minor seventh chords on this one. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, for uh, for you Aussie fans, please drop some comments uh, about what your favorite Aussie lesson is. If you have a favorite <laughs> Aussie lesson, let us know and we'll reflect upon it. Also, a shout out to our international fans. We have watchers in ah. Canada, in the UK, in Australia, as well as throughout the US. So thank you for everybody who's dropping their locations over them in the comments. We feel like we're we're big, we're bad, we're nationwide, we're worldwide. Um, and also, uh, and if you have questions about tonight's topic, Drop them in the comments. We'd like to get to them. Now, let's start with hearing some minor seventh chords in action. Uh, Ozzy, can you play something for us? Just kind of give us whatever you, uh, you just uh, a demonstration sure, sure. straight it's, up of the minor seven. Yeah, just a minor seven chords here, you know. Well, there were a few more than just minor sevens, but right. Yeah. So we, but we heard minor chords, but they sounded a little more chill than we normally hear them, right? So, so that's what we're going to talk about here. Now, Dylan, first of all, let's start off. What's the te- textbook definition of a minor seventh chord? Indeed, yes, of course, indubitably. <laughs> uh, so basically, a minor seventh chord is is effectively two things. It's a minor triad, so a minor three note chord, like A minor. Then stacked on top of that is also a minor seventh. So if I'm in the key of A minor, which has no sharps or flats, it's a great key to learn Mm -hmm. in. uh, The notes in this scale are A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, right? So the three notes that would make up my A minor chord are going to be A, C, and E. 
Does that make sense? Good. Now, if I'm going to stack a minor seventh on there, I'm going to go yet another third in that chord away, excuse me, in that scale away, and I'm going to add the note G. So now we've got that full minor seventh chord there. So, so that's going to be. So instead of just a minor chord, I now have a minor seventh chord. And it, it's really going to give it this... Um, this wider sound, right? Instead of just uh, what would be effectively five notes of the scale apart, it's now seven notes of the scale apart. So it has a wide swath of sound in it. Gotcha. Yes. And Ozzy, why do you, what, to, in your opinion, Ozzy, why, why are minor seventh chords so interesting? Oh, that's, that's going to open up a can of worms. Mm. Well, uh, well, just adding that seventh adds a whole other flavor. It just kind of opens up another sound world, if you will. Right, just mm -hmm. just adding that, and then you hear the uh, interaction of all those notes. Not just like the plain old triad, which is great on its own, right? But as soon as you add that seventh, it just adds a little, I don't know, chef's kiss to it, right? Chef's it's, kiss. It, it, just, <laughs> it just, it just, it just adds something more. It just sounds uh, a little more sophisticated, if you will. I, right? I agree. Word. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think we'll demonstrate some differences here. What we're talking about, but, but uh, now, you know, what in which in what genres do we normally find these chords? Oh, Ozzy. you could hear them anywhere, really. I mean, a lot of times you hear it more associated with jazz, but you hear it in R and B. Mm -hmm. You do hear it in blues, in rock as well. You definitely yeah. do hear that, even in heavy metal too. You will hear really? minor seven chords, yeah, with a yeah. lot of distortion and whatnot. You do hear that sort of thing as well. Cool. Well, let's They're hear everywhere. some minor chords with. And then without the sevens and different voices, let's just get a little A and B going here. So, yeah. um, and, and by the way, uh, so do you mind Ozzy just kind of showing just a couple of examples of a strict minor chord and then it's minor seventh alternative and just kind of pop. Yeah. Yeah. There. We could just start off with just a plain old E minor chord, right? Yeah. Open position stuff. Just Great. open position here. Let me just take my delay off here. Just clean this up a bit. Yeah. Just plain old E minor. Right, you can turn that into a minor seven just by lifting the third finger off of the D string, right? So that you have the open E. All you're doing is fretting the A string at the second fret. Everything else is just going to ring out. Sweet. So it's a, it's a one finger chord with all six strings. So that can sound very, very full. Yeah, very, arguably, it's a very easy card an E minor chord. seven chord is much easier to play than just your plain old E minor. <laughs> right. Right, just the one chord. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry, one, it, the one it, finger. It, yeah, and, and you guys, just to throw in some resources for anybody that's, that feels lost on the site. Uh, so there's there's a, several lessons that go over this. In fact, Ozzy teaches a number of them. One of them is minor chords in the key of E. So you would be able to learn all the minor chords in the key of E minor. Uh, you could pick several different keys and do that, and you'd be able to kind of transverse different keys. Another great spot is um, the, the, the notes of the major and minor scale. And I, I believe I'm referring to that correctly. It's, uh, yeah, so major and minor scale formulas formulas ah, major and minor mm -hmm. scale formulas so that last discussion about how to build a minor seventh chord if that went over your head that's a great spot on fender play to grab information about that nice touch dylan uh let's get back to ozzy and that the, that a b combo of those those minor chords with minor seventh chords uh, any other first position examples yeah ozzy? yeah absolutely just take your a minor chord right plain old a minor all you're gonna do is just gonna go ahead and lift up that third finger so that the G string is ringing out. So that note there, the G, mm -hmm. is going to be the seventh of the chord, right? Listen there to the difference. Go. So here's the A minor, A minor seven. Uh. They can sound a little mystery. I remember as a kid, uh, the beginning of the Beatles' Rocky Raccoon, I was, I was trying to play A minor. It was never quite right because it's A minor seven. Somewhere yeah. in the Black Hills of North Dakota, that sort of thing. It, it, it's like, it was certainly a minor chord, but it had this mystery about it. So it was a, it was a big turning point that I figured out. Uh, so we have a question already from Scott Fogelman on YouTube. Okay. Can you use the minor seventh to set a mood, like, like the blue note or the, like we were talking about dissonance last week. How, what mood does the minor seventh create, Ozzy? Oh, absolutely. I mean, just take any minor seventh chord. So here. Right there, you're already setting a mood. You've already set the stage for something dramatic, yeah. maybe something mm -hmm. a little more chilled out. Who knows? But you're definitely setting up something. Right? Right. Yeah, I still think like it's, it relaxes stuff for some reason, or it does sound a little more dull. Here, an example, if I, I'm going to jump ahead a little bit, it, 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 some, is uh, What's Going On by Marvin Gaye. 
it basically goes from the one chord to the to the six minor in the verse. And if we just played them as regular chords, it'd be like uh uh Mother, mother, that's too many crying. Fine, right? But this is an adult conversation happening in this song, very, very, you know, about protest. So we're it's a major seventh chord and then a minor seventh chord. Brother, 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 spot too many. That having that seventh in there does kind of create this much more nuanced and complex situation. That's sophistication in, in, in my we're talking about, That's right? That's sophistication, if you will, exactly. <laughs> and Kathleen Carroll on Facebook is asking, is the minor seven chord a brighter sound than the original chord? What do you think, Oz? Mm. I think it adds a little more depth to it. Not necessarily mm. brightness, but it definitely adds another another layer to it, right? Just adding that extra note, and obviously the way that you voice it on the guitar, it's going to change things up a bit, right? But gotcha. since we have more distinct tones, right, four mm -hmm. instead of three, then it's just going to sound much more, like I said, complex, more sophisticated. Again, that's Chef's Kiss. It just... That, <laughs> <laughs> it's like we said, it, it adds it, it adds just a little more taste to your playing, a little more complexity. Um, let's hear some examples of, of songs that we have on the site that use these chords. And, and we have a couple that'll start with these first position minor seven chords. And then we'll, we'll talk about going up the neck a little bit. Ozzy, do you mind playing uh, some Pink Floyd for us? Yeah, sure. Sure. We Thanks. Yeah, wish you were here. you go so we hear in fact that makes it look pretty simple because it goes from the G the open G chord to the E minor 7 in which case you've got the it's happening on the third fret of the B string is that right yeah it's got a really cool yeah. voice and you're just playing the top four strings right so you have your E here so I'm just using my first finger on the second fret of the D string yeah open G I'm gonna play the D on the third fret of the B string with my third finger and fourth finger third fret of the high E string. And you're just going to strum those four strings. And you got the full chord there, right? You got the E, which is the root, the open G, which is the third, the D, which is the seventh, and I guess we double the uh, the third here at the top. Yeah. But that's, that's basically all you need. Omitting you got your fifth. E minor seven chord. Yeah, that's, that's cool. a good one. That's yeah, a perfect we, we, example. we dropped the fifth completely. That's yeah. it's a, And it's first position. We have, and we So we teach that one on the site. Dylan, you have an example from the site as well. And this song actually reminds me that we literally have thousands of, 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 of songs on the site now. Uh, quite and, literally. Uh, and, and this is, and quite literally. And this is one of them. Uh, what, what do you have for us, Dylan? Uh, I, I Don't Want No Scrubs. Uh, no Scrubs okay. by TLC. <laughs> and uh, uh, let me show you. So this is a great example of these chords. So we've got... So you can see they lend themselves to like R and B and also to uh, to sort of arpeggiation because there's four pieces of data instead of three like on a normal triad. Oh. The other thing is to to speak to what Catherine, uh, I think it was Catherine or Kathleen was talking about. Do they sound brighter? And I think when you when you voice them, so here's an A minor seven. If I voice it, it where the seventh or the root is on the top, it does seem to have a brighter. A brighter distinction because I can hear that large separated minor seventh interval. I can hear the big separation between those two things. Uh, and so it, it really does, um, orally, it sets a wider landscape or depth like what Ozzy was talking about. There you go. That's a, that's a really good way to explain it. That's a great tip, actually. Yeah, if you're constructing that chord, think think of actually making that spread happen. That's pretty smart. We have a couple of great questions. We have a Mark Patton uh, is asking, can you interchange minor seven chords where you'd normally play? A regular minor chord, uh, Ozzy. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's just adding that extra bit of color, you know. Just if you were to take any like basic chord progression, say we're just playing like C, A minor, E minor, right? Mm -hmm. 
right? Just go ahead and dress it up a little bit, right? You're just kind of like putting on a bow tie and top hat. Right, it just adds a little more color to it, right? Sure, and and a uh, re- related question for Marcus Ortega saying, are there any no-nos when you're going to nope. substitute that? Any, any no rules, no guys? Uh, I think there are rules. It's a famous, uh, it's a famous young player thing to do to replace chords with more complicated chords than what exists. So let's say you were going out and you were going to play. A... <laughs> I got a little change. Okay, so you're going to play that game. Okay, you're with your George Thurgood. Yourself. You've been on tour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So no, now, let's Georgia, say we go Georgia ahead satellites. and. and we, uh, sorry, George. It's Georgia, Georgia satellites. And we replace those with some with some seventh chords, right? I think I think George might throw something at me in that scenario. It's not George and, and Thorogood. I, it's the Georgia satellites. Okay, Georgia might throw something at me. The state of Georgia entirely. And I would but, deserve but it. But you know what? I would deserve it. Thorogood, Thorogood probably would throw something at me. He'd have to be there. It <laughs> would be way. just your luck. Yeah. So, okay, that's a good point. Yeah, the, that, otherwise the, the intro to uh, Oh Pretty Woman would, would be like... <laughs> if you put the major yeah. seventh in there. So I think Roy... So, yeah, just be judicious. Yeah. Um, John Smith is asking... If that is his real name, uh, what yes. would it be if you omit the third, whether it was major or minor, and just use the seventh? So I, if, oh, I, it, I guess if our chord would be what root fifth and dominant seventh and a minor seventh. I guess it's all about context, really. What Correct. could be Im- yeah, implying, the, you know? It's not. Then it's no longer a major or minor chord. It's actually just a seventh chord of dubious and androgynous <laughs> nature. <laughs> from whereabouts unknown okay well yeah. john that's a great question i don't know if you had yeah if you just had the that's root five and seven it's kind of hip sounding actually it has a thing yeah so there you go that's I what like it sounds it. like it, it doesn't, like it it, doesn't commit to being happy or sad good call john uh and here's a challenge from florin Dreika. Can we hear a few minor seventh sequences in different styles from funk to metal? Gentlemen, the floor is yours. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, you, you, what, you want, want, you, you want to take one of those? <laughs> uh, should I take metal? You take funk? or I'm a little sure, bit rock and roll. Good call. Good call. Okay. A little bit of funk at it. Okay. Just two minor seven chords right there. Oh, it was right? So many great funk and R&B grooves are just based on like two I things love it. with that minor yeah. seven. Now, you just sit on it. I love it. The whole yeah. time. Okay. Dylan, so, the metal listen, challenge. There's so much space in metal for intricacy and depth of character and truth power. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Uh, the truth. So, there's a minor seven chord. Just let that speak to you for a minute. Okay, now we've got... So I honestly think uh, the seventh just adds to what is already uh, rocks indemnable spirit. Okay. Okay. There yeah. you go. Thank you for the challenge there, Florin. Uh, now, what if we want to move our minor seven chords up the neck? What about bar minor seven chords? And they're these the alternatives to these more basic ones we've been playing and talking about so far. Ozzy, what, what can you say about barring up the neck with the minor seventh chord? Well, I would just say you just start with your open position E minor seventh chord, right? So you just have the one finger chord. You're, all you're doing is just uh, fretting at the second fret of the A string. Mm-hmm. Right, and you're just imagining that these strings, these open strings, can be like the zero fret, right? So I'm just going to place my first finger right behind the nut. Then you can turn that into a movable minor seven chord shape. So if I were to move everything up just one fret, now I have F minor seven, right? Move it up another half step. F sharp minor seven and so on. So just taking these open position chords and just imagining that the open strings would be fretted or barred, mm. you could turn that into a movable shape. So same thing with your A minor seven chord, right? Just change fingering slightly. Here's my first finger behind the nut. Now I have a movable shape. There you go. Yeah. So the old cage rules kind of work here. Absolutely. As you would treat them like your regular minor chords in the cage system. 
and you're lifting that and, and so you're applying it there. And so, and don't forget, you know, you can also, as I did at the beginning of the show, you can use a capo. You can use a capo. And, and in fact, I started the show with Wouldn't It Be Nice, which is one of the songs we have on the site. And for that, you capo at the third fret. So it starts in the key of F. And, uh, and uh, be that as it may, you'll use both bar and open minor seventh chords if you play that song. So uh, that's a really good workout on the, on the, on the pop side of things. Um, and uh, someone says, oh, uh, <laughs> Tom Berg, Eugene, you have to play a country lick with a minor seven. Uh, okay. Um, that's a good, let's see here. Uh, well, I, I suppose, uh, you could, if you're in the, like, In that case, I pulled the E minor, but had the seventh in there, and at one point went to the three minor, which was B minor seven. And of course, if you're hybrid picking, you can kind of sell it as a country lick. So, yeah, thank you for that one, Tom. Now, uh, now, Ozzy, can you tell us about some common motifs that involve minor seven chords? A you know, motifs or riffs that that involve the minor seven chords. What can you do with them once once you're there? How do you you know once you're making the chord? How do you kind of sell it as a motif or a riff? Well, once you're making a, a chord, or say, say you're taking this like A minor seven chord shape, right? Mm -hmm. Like any of these. So you can go ahead and just start adding a little bit of movement, right? So taking this note that's under your middle finger. You could start adding some movement, like adding uh, kind of like a, a melody at the top. Right, that's that's one way to do it. Cool. Uh, you could also take, you know, your minor seven, like your E minor seven shape as well. Maybe just taking the top four strings, right? Just adding the ninth, right? That's a common oh, motif. Nice. That's a common cliche. You hear that all the time. And, and let's talk There's... about that top four strings thing you just did, though. How that formed a minor seven chord pretty easily. Oh yeah, because you're just taking. Yeah, you're just re removing the, the 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 low E string, you're not playing the the fifth. Actually, no, you would be playing the fifth. My mistake. So you actually are voicing it this way. You'd have the seventh, you'd have the third, the fifth, and then the root at the very top. Mm -hmm. All right. So you got everything that you need right here, just on the top four strings. Man, very sweet. you know what? There's there's some really cool songs on the site that move in a minor seventh chord shape and it's it's oftentimes this one that get down on it everybody knows that song right by uh uh bachman turner overdrive no i think it's I, I, kc and the sunshine band final answer yes <laughs> <laughs> can somebody cool help me gang, with the but... okay cool in the gang final answer yeah. and then another one would be like a Oh, sorry. If, if that's Prince's uh, "I Want to Be Your Lover," which is a, a mandatory, a mandatory song, and that's hip so. too because you're you're keeping that bar across. You're just lifting yeah. the other two fingers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like the funkier yeah, version of the Keith Richards riff. It is, <laughs> if there's such a thing. <laughs> it, it, that's a start me up. <laughs> <laughs> We're like a, an R and B tune, I suppose. Start me up, um, but not too fast. Keep it chill. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but, but, but let's grow up about it. Yeah, even cool. with that well, same well, move, there you're actually going between two different minor seven chords. Technically, that's true, <laughs> right? That is. It no, is no, true, that's a yeah. good point. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's that it's that top four strings thing you just showed us. No, we, yeah. Yeah, very good. Uh, let's hear some more examples of of the bar minor seven chords from songs that are on the site and. Um, uh, and by the way, if anybody, if you viewers, just a little more for the comment sections, if you could think of some of your favorite songs that have that you think have have minor seven chords in it, or if you're, even if you're sure, drop them in the comments, and we'll just kind of give you some shout outs, and, uh, and maybe we'll verify whether they have minor seven chords in it, if we know them, and only if they're Casey and the Sunshine Band songs. Ozzy, you're now. I want. <laughs> And, and we do have some viewers dropping in with their favorite Aussie lessons. And I know that on the oh, site, okay. this is a George Harrison song that you teach. 
uh, that has a an F sharp minor seven chord, I believe. So uh, what do uh, you yes, think? Uh, my chart uh, right? here, actually. Yeah, you have your chart. Notes, okay, uh, it's been a while. Yeah, it's it, been it a has while. been quite a while, actually. <laughs> Let's tell that a lesson. A while, yes. Yeah, a go for it. A while, yeah. I see what you did there. <laughs> All right. Uh... Ozzy went into a different vortex. I totally did. Ozzy, we kind of lost your guitar a little bit, Oz. Oh, it's back. There you go. It's back. Oh, it's back. Yeah. Did it? Did it? Wait. Yeah. Did it disappear? Did it go into another dimension? It did, but it was. Well, sort I think of I, you know I hit this pedal here, and I think I just went. Nice. The, p yeah. the pedal took you out. The pedal. Can you, out. I'm sorry. Can you do that again without the pedal switch? Without, oh yeah, sure. Just, just Absolutely. So we the, thanks. I was in a completely different dimension. Apparently. Uh, I'm That's telling right. you. I'm just glad we got you back. Am I back now? So, say that. Yeah. I'm sorry, Derek. What was that? It was just oh, fine on the, on the stream. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, well then you're fine, Ozzy. You oh, okay. So then I wasn't it. in some other no. dimension. I thought Dylan and I went with you. <laughs> <laughs> we went. It's a live show, folks. Stayed. Every, it's a live show. Everyone was on terra firma except for the three of us. Uh, Dylan, you've got a, a, one of my favorites, a Natalie Cole tune that has a lot of minor seventh chords. Oh, yeah, it. yeah. So, um, let's see. Feel free to sing. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can do that. So it's uh that's uh this uh this will be or everlasting love by uh Natalie Cole who is one of my absolute favorite uh more modern jazz crossover artists um and so many great people here in LA have toured with her. And, uh, uh, and also Derek is a big fan as well. And uh okay, Derek, there you go. one of our producers. And yeah, so Producer it's, Derek, it's like yeah. a really it's a really great <laughs> it's a great example of a common chord progression that you see minor seventh chords in and that's basically what's called the one six two five chord progression and this is probably the most common chord progression in all of music that's in right all I'm the making land. That statement. the entire the entire thing so in the key of a again that's going to be a F what would sharp. be no yeah what would be normally like without the sevenths in there Real quick. So really here's fast. what it would sound like. Would it be an everlasting love without the sevens? Who knows? Let's see. So there it is without the sevens. Here's with the sevens. Uh -huh. So I think with the sevens, there's a, a level of sophistication and delicatance. I think that we're really yeah, I think we're finding a common theme here. Again, I like that we're making up words now. Kiss. Now here's yeah. one. Here's one also on the site. Uh, speaking of, speaking of, of uh, a more modern artists using it all the time, a lot in R and B, especially her uh, when she played on the Grammys and she played that Lucite Stratocaster. Oh, or yeah. I'm sorry, Lucite. Remember that completely clear Stratocaster? Oh yeah. She that played killed. the song sometimes, and and yeah, she made a name for herself for certainly uh, certainly that night. And uh, now. The guitar on that record's tuned down a few steps. I'm in standard tuning, but but the the uh, positions stay the same. So uh, sometimes has this. Uh, let's see, yeah. Minor seventh, right? Here's another.
Now here yeah. they get away with not really barring, and it's not really like an open, regular open minor chord either. So you can get creative with these minor seven chords, and that C sharp minor seven, as opposed to it being this, an A minor seven shape barred up at the uh, fourth fret, they leave the open B and high E strings open. So the, the seventh is the open B string, technically, in right. this case, and kind of get this 12 string vibe, which is sweet. And then over here on the F sharp minor, you have, you have root, seven, minor third, and then the open two top strings, which kind of creates, what, is that an 11th or something, Dylan? Yeah, that would be a fourth or an 11th, and then the E yeah. is going to be a... Uh... I'll tell you what it is. It's hip. It's hip. It's hip, man. And we teach that. And, and Jensen teaches that song on the site. So, so get to it. Now, here's some of our viewers' favorite Aussie lessons. Real quickly. Daniel Bobke. He likes Breaking oh. the Law. The full song. Ooh, nice. Anybody? Dylan, I know you're tempted to just go into that right now. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. <laughs> it sounds great on acoustic, too. John Wavy uh, loved Papa Was a Rolling Stone. <laughs> It was oh. the 3rd of September, a date I'll always remember. Uh, Steve McDaniel just started your Level 7 show-off session. He says, it's great. So well done, Ozzy. Oh, and, and David Childers, he says, Ozzy is one of my favorite instructors on Bender. Well, he Play. just likes oh, you. Thank you. He just thinks you're good at it. That's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Now, also, my heart. Viewer, viewers' favorite songs with minor sevenths, maybe. Let's look at Models oh, and Trains. Good. Oh, well, he says, Doobie Brothers, Long Train Running. Anybody? Oh. Yes. The answer is yes. Yeah, it's got, it's got that little minor seven motif we were talking that's about right. earlier, it's, too. It's a yep. perfect there. example. Great one. That's a, that's a good one. Robert Taylor has Doobie Brothers' Jesus is Just All Right with Me. I believe so. Yeah, probably. I think they do that. that yeah, I think they, they do that bar seven or the, the E minor. At the top of the chorus, one. yeah. Correct. Pat Owen throws out Aaliyah at your best. Absolutely. Has an A minor seven. A good call. Uh, Johnny uh, C35, something by the Beatles. Well, yeah, in the minor line. Don't want to leave now. Yeah, right here. You know I believe in how. So you do get that one. Good call. Mm -hmm. And Greg Wyrick asks, Stairway to Heaven? Not yet. Right here. <laughs> Sorry, Thanks. producer Perry. We're playing Stairway to Heaven. It was an audience request. Sorry, you got no stairway denied. Right there. Yeah, when the you 12 string comes in. Yeah. Classic. It, yeah. You can hear Good that one. movement where it goes from the, the root. That's the minor seventh right there. And you hear that same walk down in a song that you just played a second ago, uh, uh, Eugene. In something it's, it's, by the Beatles. In Something by the Beatles. Uh, something. I can't remember the name of the song. But anyways, it's a... Uh, <laughs> that walk down is absolutely it's it's crucial. It's everywhere. And now that you you guys have been able to identify it, I think uh, you're going to hear it in the, the supermarket on elevators everywhere <laughs> in your dreams. Yeah. All right, let's assign some let's assign some homework. Um, Ozzy, you've got the beginning homework. All right. So for beginners, let me see if I can, let me just pull up my notes here, guys. Give me one second. Here we go. Okay. So for beginners. I want you all to play an open minor 7 chord. So go ahead and try either your E minor 7 or A minor 7. Or if you're feeling adventurous, I'd even say, go so far as saying D minor 7. Yeah. Uh, Give that a shot. So any of those mm, open position yes. minor 7 yeah. chords for beginners. Yep. Good one. Dylan, you've got intermediate, buddy. Well, if you've made it through the gauntlet, of those three chords, uh, you are now ready for, for the Fender Play Challenge intermediate style. And so this is to play a bar chord version of minor seventh. Now, I would encourage you to use Fender Play. You can just look up any minor seventh chord, like C sharp minor seven, A minor seven, whatever. Or you can also use the Fender Tune app. That's a good resource here. So uh, C sharp minor seven. You might throw a stone at that window. This would be A minor. A minor seventh. So your first soiree into minor seventh chords, bar style. All right. At bar none. And for the advance, I'm clearly in a Marvin Gaye mood. And on the What's Going On album, we hear minor seventh chords all the time. So I, for the advance, I want you to learn the progression to Mercy, Mercy Me, the ecology song. It has five different minor seventh chords, if I may, gentlemen. Mercy, mercy me. Here's one. Things ain't what they used to be. Oh, there's another one. 
Here's a key change, goes up half a step to ooh, sax solo. D minor seven. <laughs> and then the end shifts keys one more time to a new one. flat minor seven but i'll tell you what you learn those bars after your immediate you can play them all we have something coming in uh from ali the greatest the champ he's watching uh, let's see uh minor <laughs> seventh chords sound like walking into a starbucks circa 2010 wow all right <laughs> okay wow. that's a way to You're put right. an image that's what it is to, yeah way know. to go yeah I have that that oatmeal milk it's pretty good that's right um dylan it's time to start giving stuff away it's, it's your turn well, it's a great time. It's a great time to be alive. Uh, minor sevenths and all. Hey, thank you guys so much for getting this far. I want to give a special shout out, a special shout out to a very a sh important shout out or a, a shout out. <laughs> both, well, let's not shoot a, a shout out. Final yeah. answer. OK, there to you go. A yes. very important member of Fender Play community, which is Joanne Baumgartner. Now, Joanne has been posting videos of herself playing videos for years now. Or excuse me, playing songs for years now. And they're extremely impressive. It both in numbers and difficulty as they chronologically pass. So, uh, Joanne, you're, you're a fantastic person and you've shared your life with us for so long and we appreciate that. Moving right along, past the sappy stuff. Uh, we give away gear every week on the show. So if you're a member of Fender Play, you're automatically entered to win a piece of gear at the end of the show simply by using Fender Play for a minimum of 21 minute or three seven minute sections called streaks and uh hopefully i'll get to call your name at the end of the show you get to pick from p bases j bases acoustic amps regular amps tellies strats tons of different stuff uh a lot of people have won uh we'd love it if you can share in the community if you do win next week and are you guys ready to hear who won this week absolutely ready? i feel it coming on give me a minor seventh chord Ho! complexity Steve C, Steve C, Steve C, a minor seventh, yes. <laughs> Congratulations, Steve. Congratulations, Steve. Enjoy your, your bass, uh, your guitar, amp, ukulele, whatever it is you choose, man. Congratulations. Uh, what's, and what's the update? What's the newest on the site, Dylan? Man, there's a ton of new stuff on the site. I mean, Ozzy's got something that he's been working on that's going to come out eventually. Uh, uh, here, okay, so here's a couple. So you can learn Glycerine by Bush. You guys may remember that song. Uh, here's basically kind of a snippet of what you would learn. Glycerine. Everybody remembers this, right? <laughs> anyway, so it goes on. Uh, we played No Scrubs earlier that. Yeah. So you can learn that. That's basically what you would get right on the site. And then coming home, Leon Bridges. I got a great friend, Brandon, who's out on tour with Leon right now. And he's right? fantastic. Nice. Yeah. How so, great. That's the long, cool text. And Leon, I'm a big Leon Bridges guy. So I'm glad we have really this on the site. Cool. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you for that, Dylan. And a huge thank you to you, Ozzy, for, for joining us and helping us with our minor seventh chords, man. Oh, thanks for having me. Now, do you mind plugging something? What do you have coming up? Well, uh, I actually have an office hour uh, tomorrow at 3 o'clock Pacific time. We're going to be uh, covering, well, this is going to be my last of an eight-week series. We've been covering wow. rhythm, so I'm just going to be walking everybody through it, just how to count 16th notes and how to count mm -hmm. like syncopation and all that. So we started from basically zero all the way up to 16th notes. So check that out tomorrow, 3 p.m. Uh, as far as anything else to plug, uh, I did score a, a horror film not too long ago. Just in time for Halloween 2022, <laughs> if you guys are so inclined. Check it out. It's on Alter. If you go to YouTube, check out Alter. Uh -huh. The movie is called Tooth Fairy. Tooth Very Fairy. Cool. No, by the, the Tooth Fairy. Yeah, so it's all... Tooth so Fairy. you. You know, um, it is kind of creepy. It is very I'm creepy. Around taking Anything people's having to do teeth? with teeth, it is yeah. creepy. So check like, it if out. If I had a collection of people's teeth at the house, you guys wouldn't celebrate that, right? Well, I don't no, think I'd ever come would. visit no, you, so it's actually. Creepy. It's a okay. <laughs> so, by the way, uh, when you said you have office hours, where? It's in the fa in the Fender Play Facebook community, everybody, if you want to mm -hmm. uh, uh, chat with uh, with Ozzy. Uh, so, and then also you have a, co a certain collection coming out in December, right? Oh, yeah. There will be a collection of some of my favorite tunes, some of my favorite uh, lessons 
Uh, it should be available sometime in December. So okay, so December on the on the Fender Play Lesson site, there's going to be an Aussie collection. How mm -hmm. cool is that? Mm. Uh, for everyone else, thank you again, Dylan. Thank you, Aussie. For everyone else, keep safe, keep practicing. Don't forget to change your clocks this weekend. And if you don't have an instrument in your hands, hit the capital G and send it in the comments. For everybody else, I'd like to play a G minor seven chord. It seems appropriate on the count of four. Here we go. Everybody, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm.